We're in the aft engine room of the USS Kidd, and she's in Thomas E. Shipyard having work done, uh, getting a little touch up. And I found something that you guys have in your everyday household, and what that is, is a mirror. Now you're gonna ask yourself, why is a mirror in an engine room? What is it, and, and it's pointed downward. What is going on with that? Well, I'm gonna tell you. It has to do with the reduction gear and the turbine. The turbine is a container. It's got big turbine blades in it. Steam flows through it, hits those fan blades, those turbine blades, and rotates them and causes the shaft going from the turbine to the reduction gear to rotate. And of course the reduction gear does what it's supposed to do. It slows down those revolutions to where it's at a speed that will not break the propeller shaft. And this is the propeller shaft where it intersects. You can see they painted it red and white striped. And they did that and pointed this mirror directly down. This is the back side of the mirror directly down at those. So what purpose does that have? Well, you've got a throttleman, a gentleman. He's a sailor. He may not be a gentleman, but let's just give him the, uh, some, uh, the basic shadow of the doubt. Not shadow of the doubt. You know what I'm saying. We're going to give him the benefit of the doubt. That's what it is. So if the throttleman gets instructions from the bridge, full back, full ahead, whatever, one third, two thirds, then he's got to spin one of these valves here, and you can see there's four of them. And other folks have to spin some of these valves up in the overhead and all around through the ship to reverse the flow of steam through the turbine and make the turbine turn in a different direction. You see our roadrunner right there. Stay tuned, partner. Stay tuned. And by doing that, that makes the reduction gear and the shaft uh, coming out of the reduction gear go in a different direction. Well, if you're standing right here at the wheel like I am, then... If you look over, you see that mirror. I'm going to go all the way up to 12. You see the red and white striping on the mirror? Let's see if we get. There we go. You can see that striping in the mirror, and that is an independent confirmation for the throttleman to know whether or not he's got the prop and the shaft going in the correct direction. So, a simple household item gets you confirmation and confirms the correct operation of the plant on board the USS Kidd and other ships throughout the fleet. So I am in the crawl space in the aft engine room. Uh, this is the front casing of the reduction gear. As you can see, at some point way back in kids' history, some dude got back here and wrote his name. It's either TUS, maybe TUF, maybe it's an acronym that I'm not familiar with, T-U-S-S -S or T-U-F-F. -F. It looks like SS to me. Um, you can also see the back side of the condenser, and it disappears on toward the front end. That opens up through a sea chest, that, that big pipe there. The sea chest is an outer opening on the ship's skin. We're crawling around looking for any holes punched by the people doing the blasting. And as you can see, it gets tighter. And this is the end of the line for me. I cannot fit up through there. but. We're looking at the structure of the ship to see if there's any deterioration, not just peeling paint, but actually frames and longitudinals that are compromised. And if you want to see how far I've got to go back to get out, that is Antonio down there waving his flashlight. Say hello, Antonio. How's it going? How's it going? It's going, it's going crawly. Unfortunately, I'm not claustrophobic unless I get into the extreme. So this is an example of what's going on in the shipyard, guys. Uh, wish me luck. I've got to go all the way back down there. If not, then I become a part of the exhibit. That belongs in a museum. So do you. 
So here's the top side of the reduction gear. And we have done a video, the World of Warships behind the scenes museum ship USS Kid. You can find it in the behind the scenes playlist. We've talked about how the reduction gear works versus uh, how it ties into the turbines. You're looking at the low pressure steam turbine here in the aft engine room. That's the shaft that connects it. And the thing that I wanted to bring up for you, and I'm reaching around the pipe with the camera, so if it's shaky, that's why, is our good friend, the Road Runner. Somebody, let me kill the flashlight, please. Thank you. Somebody along the way uh, decided to paint Road Runner on our low pressure turbine. And the artwork has held up all these years. We have not touched this up. We did not even know it was here until volunteer Tim Hales uh, decided that he would help restore the aft engine room. And he came down here. He did this in honor of his dad who died in a kamikaze attack in this space aboard the Lindsay. Uh, one day different from when Kid was attacked, April 11th. Lindsay was hit on April 12th and, and uh, Tim Hales' dad passed away, died in that attack. Um, and then he got in here with a water hose and started washing dust off of everything and lo and behold we see beep beep and a red red and green roadrunner so this is a little bit of sailor art if you like sailor art you can check out our video in uh, the kid bits playlist and you will see an episode entirely dedicated to sailor art on kid and other ships throughout the fleet thanks for tuning in